Well, I managed to catch a little roach, second cast, on the pole, on the little whips, that was fine. With the worms, I'm not chopping them up really small like you would do if we was fishing chopped worm on the pole. All I'm basically doing is halving them because they're going into the feeder for an eel to find. So we don't want him finding little tiny bits because the roach will have had all those. So it's just, I've just chopped them up rough and ready and I've put them in with the soil as well and I've cast out up the central channel there that 20 meters I suppose I've got the rod just set I've got no bite alarms or anything don't need anything like that and I'm watching the line between the tip and where it goes into the water the bites from an eel are usually pretty savage so uh, if it's a perch that's all right still got plenty of time I've got the bait runner on needless to say first put in with the little whip I had a roach about seven ounces which was far too big so we put him back but I'll show you the quality of the the angle in here I'll just catch another one I don't need it just yet but this is the lovely thing I could get it on demand rather than have to hold hold them back especially on a hot day like today tiny tiny little bit of worm fishing about a foot deep just off of those reeds Here we go, little touch. <laughs> and that's absolutely all perfect for the eel. Absolutely, that's all right, you fall off mate, don't need you. But it just shows how easy it is at this time of the year to catch a, a live bait or a dead bait. One of the few places you can still do it, and I'm pleased about that because these eels in here are predatory. They're not like uh, the eels you catch down the canal, which are quite small. These are quite, these fell down the gap in the the board in so he's all right he's back in the water but as you can see you don't need to hold back any small fish because they don't take a second to catch so that size that you just saw is the size I've actually got on the hook at the moment you don't have to worry about where you put the float they're everywhere so I was doing this last year uh, I came up in the winter trying to catch a perch and uh, I brought my little whip, which I always do when I need to catch a few live baits. And I really struggled for about an hour. I couldn't get a bite. And I thought, oh, well, it's going to be one of those days I'm not even going to be able to fish because I can't catch a live bait. And the float, tiny little bit of worm on, dipped away and I lifted into it. About 25 minutes later, I landed a seven pound carp. <laughs> Ridiculous. Don't forget if you like these videos to subscribe, I'll keep doing them, fresh water and salt water. When the cold weather comes we'll uh, really see how hard things can get. But at the moment with the weather predicted today to be 31, I thought I'd come early. There you are, look, that's, that's absolutely ideal size. I'll keep him because I can put him on as a dead bait. Absolutely ideal size for an eel. Hook's clean so I can put that in the water, otherwise, I, well, it's a silver hook, I'll probably still catch on it, but uh, I can put the whip down. Just dispatch the little roach. And I'll come back to you when we've got something to see.